Hello! We are working on markups, writing them as decimals, working with percentages, also calculating sale prices. So for this math story, we have our very own Deegan. Deegan runs a surf shop. He's the most famous surfer in all of Southern California. Here's how he gets his money. He buys a surfboard and then he marks them up 75%. So a, write the markup as a decimal. So here's your 100%. This is the price that Deegan pays to buy the surfboards. And then he tacks 75% on top of that. But that, 75%, that's the markup. Okay, so you want to write just the markup as a decimal. Remember, when you're going from percent to decimal, you divide by 100. So divide 75 by 100, and you get 0.75. Remember also to multiply by S. S is the price of the surfboard. So this is the markup right here, 0.75 times S. Write two expressions for the sale price of the surfboard. Here's your 100% wholesale price, or the original price. Here's your 75% markup. And together that equals 175%. Okay? And now step, this is step one when you're working with decimals and percents. Step two is to multiply the decimal by the original number. So change these percents to a decimal by dividing by 100 and you get 1 and 0.75. Remember to multiply by the original number, multiply decimal by original number, so put your S in there, and S stands for the surfboard. Surfboards is the same as S. And then you can add those because it's a markup. And you can do that at one time also by converting this percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So you get 1.75. But then multiply the decimal by the original number and you get S. So that's your 1.75S. So the question that I need you to stop the video and figure out, first of all, stop the video after I tell you what I need. But stop the video after and figure out what is the sale price of the board Deegan bought originally for $550. So stop the video now and figure out letter C. Thank you for stopping the video. Now let's look here. What is the sale price of a board Deegan bought originally for $550? We've got 100% and he's adding 75%. So he's changing the overall percent sale price to 175%. We convert that percent to a decimal and we get 1.75. So 550 times 1.75. This will give us our sale price. So let's do the multiplication. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Put down a 0. We don't need that 2 anymore. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 3 is 38. Whoa, not right there. And then 0, 0, because I'm multiplying by the 1 there. And now I need 1 times 0 and I get 0. 1 times 5 I get 5. 1 times 5 I get 5. And then add all that up. I get 0, 5, 
2, 1. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus 5 is 16. 1 plus 3 plus 5, that looks like it's going to be 9. And we have two decimal places, so 960 to 50 is how much Deegan charges for his surfboards. So how much money did he profit? Before we figure out letter D, I want you to stop the video and work on letter D. But let's double check letter C and see if we did the work correctly. So 550 times 1.75. $962.50. Yes. Now, how much profit did Deegan, how much money did Deegan profit? You need to do $962.50 minus $550. That was the original price of the surfboard. So Deegan profits $412.50.